And I think that's a big part of it that hopefully we are stressing enough for you fans out there. And just like everything, you've got casual fans who are coming to see cars. And frankly, you know, they don't care. They, well, they want to hang in the park and have a cocktail and play Jenga like that kid. Oh, man, the pressure was on that kid. He, he delivered. Got to admit, he delivered. But then you got some hardcore fans that really want to understand what's going on. All you guys, you're welcome to go down, pick any one of these cars, and go walk to their pit. That's what drag racing is all about. Here comes Mikey D out of San Jose, California. Mike Dishgunian, lane number two. Lane number three, going to be Charles McClaws and Ray Martin in lane number one as we've got a trio. Hack was flying into the air. Everybody loves to talk about the quads, of course, and two wide drag racing. We get three cars out there, though. It's a, it's a little funky, a little weird. So Mike D is the number four qualifier in lane number two. Ray Martin, the number 10 qualifier. Charles McClaw is the number nine qualifier. Mike Dishkanian has got a car that is very capable of stepping up. Maybe not to the top spot, but maybe to the top spot. He ran 557. Number one, Doug Gordon, is 549. Let's let it all play out. As right trailers, top dragster, you guys should be in the lanes for round one eliminations. All right, bringing him up, Ray Martin, Mike Dishgunian, and Charles McClaws. Well, everybody just missed the tree, not like they were going for it, but they all get down under power, and it is a 555-7 five five seven to 257 for Mike Dishgunian that's going to get there first, 563, coming out of lane number one, Ray Martin. And Charles McClaws with his best run of the weekend so far, 560 with a four at 257, coming out of lane three. So everybody picking up a little bit. Mike D picked up a couple. Charles McClaws picked up a couple. Ray Martin picked up a couple. 